Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to my channel, Disney Fan in Japan. Christmas is my absolutely most favorite time of the year. And if you're into Disney Christmas as much as I am, you will have the happiest time shopping at Tokyo Disney Resort. It is probably the one time in the year where merchandise is as plentiful as it is varied. This year, there are six unique merchandise lines happening at the same time for the Christmas event at Tokyo Disney. You have, of course, the park exclusive merchandise of Disneyland and Disney Sea. Then you have the resort merchandise, which is merchandise shared by both parks. And then there is the snow snow merchandise. Then there's the souvenir items that you can purchase with certain menu items. And finally, there is Duffy and Friends merchandise because they certainly can have different exclusive merchandise. Now, perhaps you might have noticed there is very little information about the merchandise on the English version of the Tokyo Disney website, which is why I'll be sharing with you information pulled from the Japanese website. Because not only do they have a list of the merchandise that will be available during the event, they also have pictures of what the items look like, the retail price, descriptions of the items themselves, and finally, where in the parks you can get them. I'll be sharing all that information with you in this video in a browse with me fashion. So this is how it's going to work. First, you'll see a general overview of all the items in a given merchandise line, including their retail price. Then I'll pick out a handful among them to highlight some unique ones or share with you some information which you otherwise might not be aware of because the only language on the packaging is Japanese. As westernized as Tokyo Disney seems to be, the experience is ultimately being catered towards the Japanese people. In terms of the order of the merchandise line we'll be going through, first up will be the resort merchandise, followed by Snow Snow, and then exclusive park merchandise at Disneyland, then Disney Sea, and we'll end off with the souvenir items. And with that, let's start off with the resort merchandise, or merchandise which can be found at both Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea. Recently, there's been a huge boom with the whole retro or vintage feel. It's been happening at the Disney Store, and it's also happening at Tokyo Disney Resort. There's a very classic sort of feel to it, and if you're into nostalgia for vintage Disney, this is the merchandise line for you. But the one I want to focus on is not particularly nostalgic or vintage in any way, but rather it is definitely unique. I have never seen anything like this in all the years that I have been acquainted with the Disney merchandise during the Christmas event, this is a tapestry. A tapestry of the very tree that you can find in the World Bazaar area of Tokyo Disneyland. Now, you're probably wondering why don't they just have an actual tree? It's probably because, and this is a purely personal opinion, there is very little room or physical space in Japan, and that includes houses. So, you won't find many houses having a huge tree. By having a Christmas tree being displayed on a tapestry, you kind of solve that problem of space. How do you put ornaments on them? Well, that might be because it's not really intended for ornaments or traditional ornaments. It's rather intended for plush, like this. This is definitely geared towards collectors of plush, like myself, if you have a big collection of plush, especially that of the Christmas variety or plush that you bought during the Christmas event at the Tokyo Disney Parks, this is a great way to display those Christmas plush because each plush not only comes with a keychain, it also comes with a huge safety pin. So you can basically pin your plush right onto this tapestry. And essentially that's how you would decorate the tree. If you have plush that doesn't come with a safety pin but you'd like to hang it up on this tapestry anyway, you can easily attach one with your own safety pin by yourself. I think this is such a creative idea to display those Christmas plush. This is pretty straightforward, but I just want to point out with how amazing the Christmas wreath is. Every year Tokyo Disney Resort releases a Christmas wreath 
and this is this year's version. I especially like the hidden Mickey ornament that is basically at the bottom or the base of the largest wreath. I'm such a sucker for hidden Mickeys. That is like the cutest thing. This is such an awesome concept. This blows my mind because it looks like a pizza, but it's actually a pack of corn snacks. This is how amazing Tokyo Disney Resort packaging is, or just Japanese packaging is in general. Look at how finely detailed it is, how it's all put together, and aesthetically it's just overall, the whole thing is so pleasing that it's like, you don't want to mess it up. But that's part of the experience of enjoying the food of Tokyo Disney Resort. It's not only a feast for your taste buds, it's a feast for the eyes as well. It's made to look like pizza in a box. When you lift up the box under the top, you will see an image of the gang, the Sensational Six, with the words Merry Christmas right in the middle. I think that's particularly cute. They're not dressed in the costumes of the seasonal event. It's a very general type of um, design. You can see six different slices, so that means there are six packs of corn snacks. They come in two different colors, so that means there are two varieties of corn snack flavors. The three yellow ones, according to the website, are mayonnaise shrimp flavored, and the three red ones are tomato cheese flavored. This picture shows you more details of the packaging inside the actual pizza slice boxes. So if you open up the pizza slices, you actually get the corn snacks in baggies, smaller plastic baggies, and they come with another unique design on the plastic bags. And the actual corn snacks themselves look nothing like pizza. They are actually in the shape of stars. Just opening this up is like one new experience after another. It's so creative, so unique. Personally, I think this is a totally must buy and I will definitely get one of these. Next up, we'll be going through my personal favorite merchandise line, Snow Snow. It is the most Japanese concept of all the merchandise lines because it perfectly captures the kawaii concept in Disney Christmas fashion. Snow Snow is not a new merchandise line concept. It's actually been around since 2016. It is a shared merchandise line, so that means you can find it at either Tokyo Disneyland or Disney Sea. As you can probably tell, Snow Snow is basically snowmen of Disney characters, especially that of the Sensational Six. Mickey and Minnie are like the main characters for the Snow Snow line, and this year they are featuring Donald and Daisy. My bias. I am so excited for this line. I didn't think I could love this line anymore until now. We're probably going to spend the most time talking about this merchandise line, so please forgive my gushing on just going crazy over this snow snow thing. It's the absolute best. And I hope you'll agree with me as we go through it together. So the first item I want to point out are these um, clip-on figures or hanging figures. I'm not exactly sure how to say that, but you can see that there are figures of Mickey, Minnie, and Donald, and they're sitting on top of this dripping ice uh, base. And that base actually can clip onto like uh, the edge of something, like a windowsill or a ledge. It's a great way to Disneyfy a little spot in your house, like if you have an alcove or if you have a bathroom. You can just set one of those figures there and you've created a little bit of Disney magic in your home. As you can clearly see, this is a little house with a figurine, and there are actually four of them being released. There's Donald, Daisy, Mickey, and Minnie, and each of them come with uh, an accessory that pairs up with the figure, and they are removable. What I especially like about this figurine set is that not only do they have unique backgrounds, so each background is different for each character, but also the accessory they come with is different or unique to the character. So Donald comes with a Christmas tree, Daisy comes with a Christmas present, and Mickey and Minnie come with a teacup, which I believe is a nod to the Mad Teacup Party attraction at Disneyland. I'm not too sure why they 
took that concept. I thought it was a little surprising because I didn't see how that connects with Christmas. And then I kind of realized that, okay, maybe it's not related to the mad tea party thing, but rather a cup of cocoa, maybe? I'm not too sure about that. So let's go with that to make it more Christmas themed. This has been a top seller for many months now, ever since the first one came out for the 35th anniversary. I guess they're kind of going with the seasonal event limited design. So here's the Christmas version. Really, everything about it is the same as the ones that have been coming out so far. The only difference is the design of the bottle. If you're especially into the snow snow design, I think this will be a great addition to your bathroom. <laughs> and of course, with that Mickey shaped nozzle being attached to the hand soap, whenever you push down the lever of this hand soap, out comes this Mickey shaped foam. This was described as like a gift bag set, but I guess you can also call it like a makeup bag set. With the pouch comes a lavender scented hand cream and a small mirror. If you can take a closer look at the Mickey and the bottom of the pouch, you can actually see that the texture is a little different compared to the rest of the item. Both of those are made of a sort of wool-like material, which makes it quite unique in terms of a tactile experience. This is a toy car made by the very famous company Tomika, which is a company that is very well known in Japan for making die-cut model cars. They've been doing this collaboration with Tokyo Disney for many, many years now now and they usually create a vehicle that is a nod to the seasonal event happening at the time and this one is dedicated to the snow snow merchandise line and it is a bus this is actually one of the hotel buses that transports passengers from the Disney hotels to the Tokyo Disney parks. What's especially impressive about these small model cars are the amount of detail and designs that go into the cars. Almost every part of the car has like something, it's not left blank. Like on the top, you'll see the snow snows of Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy, and there's a flurry of snowflakes and stars in the background, and then some Christmas trees. And you can see at the far right is the shape of the rear window of the bus, and that is in the shape of a hidden Mickey. And you can see that same shape on the side of the bus, the snow snows of Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. And what I especially like about this one is, look at Donald. He tripped. Oh my gosh, he tripped. That just squeezes my heart. And then on the front windows of the bus, you can see Snow Snow Mickey on one side and Snow Snow Minnie on the other. It's just such a good model toy bus. It's, this is Tomika level, Tokyo Disney level. I have said it so many times, the packaging of Tokyo Disney, amazing. The container designs just always blows me away one way or another. And this like, I'm speechless. This is a Yule Log container, but it's actually not chocolate, so don't bite into it. It is just fashioned after a Yule Log. What is actually inside are those small chocolate rice puffs that you can see at the bottom of the picture. This Yule Log comes with 12 of those, and each rice puff is individually packaged with that very unique snow snow design. You can see the snow snows, and they're having a grand time playing around the Christmas tree. I especially like containers like these because even after you're finished going through the food, you can reuse the containers and like put whatever you want in them. I love that you don't have to throw it away, but you can reuse it for a new purpose. You can probably tell that I really love the design of the snow snow this year because I mean, Donald and Daisy, but look how sweet they are pictured in this cushion or pillow, this very round pillow. There are two different designs on this pillow. There's a front and a back design. On the front is the sweet Christmas with just Donald and Daisy with a heart wrapped around them. And then on the back side, you have all four of them trekking along the snowscape with the Disney castle on the left side representing Tokyo Disneyland and Mount Prometheus on the right side representing Disney Sea. Amazing. If you especially love it as much as I do, these plates might make a good memento for you. They capture unique scenes featuring the snow snows. So on the pink one, you have them playing around in like some forest and the green one, you can see that they're just kind of floating around and some of the buildings are from Disneyland, I want to say. And then on the bottom in the very light red, you have them playing with the Christmas tree. 
And there's, of course, the in the small corner of the plate, you can see the Disney castle and Mount Prometheus being cut off. Finally, on the bottom right in the blue is the same picture as it was shown on the front design of the pillow, Donald and Daisy. Keep in mind that these are melanin plates, so they're not dishwasher friendly or microwave friendly. Make sure you are using them to eat only with cold foods or snacks. This cup, which also has a front and back design, it comes with a spoon. And on the top of the spoon handle is a snow snow Mickey. The front design has all four snow snows. And look at the back design, it has Donald tripping again. <sighs> My heart. These are magnets. I think that's pretty straightforward. Oh, and the magnets have form and they actually have a texture to them that wool-like texture. So they are like plush magnets. These are erasers, and each of them have a different colored package, but the design on the packaging is the same. Personally, I think I would be devastated to use these as erasers because they're just so cute. This is my bane. Whenever I get cute stationery, I really, really hesitate to use them because once they're used, they're gone like forever. It's just horrible. It's like a love-hate relationship. I love looking at them. I love having it because of the designs, but I hate using them because I know once I use them, that's it. They're gone and I won't be able to look at those designs anymore. Are you that kind of person or do you not mind using them? If you know of a way to get over something like that, please do share it with me. These are hairpins. They are in the same fashion as the magnets we saw earlier but they come with hair clips. So you can literally clip snow snows onto your head. This bag, if you want to carry snow snow around with you whenever you go out, this is the bag for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, they only feature one of the snow snow characters and that's of Minnie. It's a basic tote bag and the bag is a, like an off-white color and looks like a corduroy um, texture to it and the handles of it are, is that wool-like material. What's unique about this one is look at Minnie. Minnie is actually a pass holder. She fits into this mitten pocket that is sewn right onto the front of the bag. The next thing I really like about this one is that the inside of the bag has a different design as that of the outside. I just love things like that. Of course, it features the snow snow characters, but this time it's not only Minnie. There you have Donald and Daisy and you can see Mickey there as well. On top of that, they have the Disney castle and Mount Prometheus scattered in the background. I love this because whenever you open your bag, you get a totally different experience each time. And that just about wraps up the Snow Snow merchandise line. Now let's get to merchandise that it's exclusive to each park. We'll start off with merchandise available only in Disneyland and then we'll go into Disney Sea. It seems that the retro or vintage theme is also being continued at Tokyo Disneyland and so we'll be seeing a lot of the Fab Five in a very classic art style. This plush wristband. They could have stopped at the wristband but they added a plush on top of it. There are two different kinds. One is of Mickey and the other is of Minnie and they do come with a little bell so it jingles if you like move your hand. If you want to create Christmas spirit wherever you go, this is the thing for you. I am often wowed by the concept and the design that goes into the tissue box covers. And this Christmas event one is no exception. I mean, it's a sled. And on top of that, there's a bunch of things happening around the sled. It's not just, boom, a sled. There are small presents on top, and at the front of the sled is a small wreath on the side. You have Mickey and Minnie embroidered into the design. And then on the back side, you have Disney Christmas 2019 Tokyo Disneyland embroidered. A very simple, but I think effective design. This pillow or cushion, however you want to call it, features the Fab Five in a very classic art style. The front and back design are different. So the front features the Fab Five in a sled and the back design only features their faces and scattered throughout their faces, you see a little picture of the castle and then holly or bells. We know how amazing Japan stationery is and Tokyo Disney stationery is just like one level above. And these are notepads and I always have to pause for a moment before I say that because I'm so used to them being called memos. That's what they're called in Japanese so 
I don't want to say memos, I have to like backtrack in my head. These are notepads, okay. I'm pretty sure they're not sticky notes, they're just regular notepads. And what's especially awesome about them is that each one of the characters are situated or tucked into a sled. And so that is like the cover or the holder of the notepads. The bottom line of the picture will show you how they look like outside of the sled. So on the top half of the notepad, you have the featured character. And on the bottom half is the space where you write the note. You get five unique notepads in probably one of the best Christmas stationary notepads I have ever seen. Oh my goodness, look at this bag accessory. There's so much to talk about because there's so much going on here. Okay, let's start with the front design. So on the front of this bag accessory, and I call it a bag accessory because it's one of those things where you would hang off your bag. And the front design has Mickey and Minnie in a sled, and there's the words Disney Christmas on top with the year 2019. And what I especially like about it is there's the Disney castle peeking out from behind the back. On the back design, you have the same Disney Christmas 2019 in a different font style with Christmas motifs scattered around it. The beauty is when you actually open it up. It reveals this wreath, this huge wreath. And then on the right side of the flap, it's a red background with a bunch of Christmas elements or rather Christmas presents scattered throughout the background. A very visually pleasing bag accessory. Now let's head on over to Disney Sea. Let's take a look at the merchandise that is exclusive to that park. So this was listed as a toy. It was described as a toy on the website. It's in the shape of a bell because it's matching the bells that the dancers are carrying or holding during the event show at Tokyo Disney Sea. There is actually a scene where you have a row of dancers or performers and they're playing the bells. So this is a really great way to join in on the fun if you're into those kind of things. This toy can light up in two different colors. You have yellow or pink. And let's take a closer look at the strap because I think that's particularly interesting. You can see that there's a hidden Mickey design scattered throughout the navy strap and throughout it there's also small stars and like globes of circles or something. I cannot not point out hidden Mickey elements. This set of four different hand creams, each one featuring a Disney character. There's Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy, and each of them have their own unique colors because they each have a unique scent. From left to right, Mickey's scent is ginger, followed by rose for Minnie, Donald's is lime, and Daisy's is jasmine. Once again, that's ginger, rose, lime, and jasmine. This plush keychain is pretty straightforward. I just want to tell you that it is detachable. You can separate Mickey from the bell. I thought this particular notepad was especially unique because it is made to look like those old timely admission tickets. It features four different characters, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. So the front cover has the characters featured in stars. And then the back design or the back cover has that like old fashioned kind of background to it with them in the full body design. And then on the far right are the actual designs of the notepads themselves. So it's again of the characters in full body design with their names in the far right corner. And there is a scattering of stars in the background. And finally, we've come to the last of the merchandise lines that I'll be sharing with you in this video. These souvenir items. How you can get these souvenir items is by purchasing them along with special sets or food or drinks at different kiosks or restaurants throughout the park. I don't think you can purchase them separately as in without having to purchase a food item. I might be wrong on that, so if you are sure about something like that, please do let me know. 
So first, let's go through the park exclusive souvenir items, and then I'll share about the resort souvenir items. So starting with souvenirs exclusive to Tokyo Disney Sea, this is a plate, and this plate comes with the purchase of this particular treat, which is a coffee cream tart, and together they come out to a total of 800 yen. Next up is this mug with the same design of Mickey and Minnie. This is with a chocolate and milk mousse. I especially like the fact that the swirl of the icing kind of looks like a Christmas tree. Together, they total to 800 yen. This is another Disney Sea exclusive, and this one you have to purchase with a meal or a special set or a limited time set at certain restaurants. And you can get this lunch bag for an additional 1100 yen. So it is optional. You don't have to purchase it if you don't want to. Now for the souvenirs exclusive to Disneyland, it features that vintage look of the Fab Five in the sled. This souvenir cup comes with a strawberry dessert. Together, they are 800 yen. Along that same line of design is this plate, but you'll see more of the characters um, that are spread out in their own sleds as opposed to all in one. And this souvenir plate comes with the dessert of a cranberry and black tea cake. This particular lunch bag is similar to the one we saw at Tokyo Disney Sea. The idea in that you can purchase this for an additional 1100 yen with your meal or that special set. It is an option. What I really like about this is the circular shape. That is a rare shape for a lunch bag to come in. If I had to choose which souvenir lunch bag I would go for between Disney Sea and Disneyland, I would definitely go with Disneyland because of just how unique the shape is. This popcorn bucket that is only available during the Christmas event, it comes with a popcorn. It's made to look like a Christmas present and again in that unique round shape. I like that there are ornaments that show different designs of characters scattered throughout the entire body of the popcorn bucket. And then you have this very plush-like ribbon that is attached to the strap. Together with the popcorn, this bucket costs 2400 yen. My goodness, this snack case is beyond, just beyond. It's a snack case, yes, but it's made to look like the popcorn wagons, as in the wagons where you purchase popcorn. The snack case comes with candy. There are actually two different kinds of candy you can get with a snack case. You have the choice of either it coming with jelly beans, as you can see in the picture here, or with candied chocolate. I love, love the fine details of this snack case. And I really like the fact that the wheels look like cookies. And once again, you can reuse this case once you finish going through the snacks. You can use this case to store other things. Personally, this is another one on the must-buy list. Now we're going through the resort souvenir items. So souvenir items that you can find at either Disneyland or Disney Sea. This one here is a pouch and it has snow snow featured on it. I really like that soft pastel -y design. This one is an option. It's an optional item. You can purchase it for an additional 700 yen with certain menu items. On that same line, you can get this adorable cup sleeve featuring Donald and Daisy with a very cute felt heart around them. It is an optional item that you can purchase with a hot drink, and I do believe that hot drink is apple cinnamon. You can choose to purchase without it, and that will be a cost of 400 yen for just the hot drink. Purchasing it together with the sleeve will bring it up to 900 yen. This tray, again, it is an optional item. You can purchase it for an additional 1000 yen with certain menu items. Most likely a special set or a meal of some sort. And that just about wraps it up for all the merchandise list that is available during the Christmas event at Tokyo Disney Resort. Now there's one thing you should know, I've just shared with you a near complete list of the Christmas merchandise. And I say near complete because I'm very sure that there's going to be more releases of new merchandise in the upcoming weeks. The previous of the merchandise were released in weekly intervals, so that meant I kept checking back on the Tokyo Disney Resort website, checking the Christmas event page for each park, and seeing if there are any updates to the merchandise area. It is very likely that there is merchandise that has not yet been announced, and therefore they have not been included in this video. I'd say probably the best and the most surefire way to get a complete list of the merchandise available for the Christmas event is through the Tokyo Disney Resort app. In fact, there are a couple of app-only exclusive items, and on top of that, the merchandise for the Christmas events 
are available first through the app from the beginning of November, so that's November 1st until November 6th. November 7th is the actual day that the Christmas event begins at Tokyo Disney Resort, and so you will be seeing the merchandise available in stores at the parks. But prior to that, it is only through the app that you can have access to those merchandise and actually available for purchase. But since the app is very exclusive to Japan, as in I'm pretty sure it's only available for download in Japan, the next best way to know about the merchandise available is by actually going to the park. I intentionally chose not to cover any merchandise that is only available through the app because the access is very exclusive. In store or in park merchandise, on the other hand, is available for everyone. And all of the merchandise that you've seen in this video, I'm pretty sure it's going to be at the parks. I hope you enjoy going through the different merchandise lines being featured this year at the Christmas event at Tokyo Disney Resort. If you've watched until the very end, thank you so much for sticking with me. If you found this video insightful, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that bell. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. May you have a magical day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.